Yo, it's Overcast with Off Top. I'm finna go through the vault, so let's see what we got. The first single for Kendrick's experimental album. All right, babe, let me see. Yeah, I feel like he was spaz on it. It's kind of classic. Yeah, I feel like if it's an experimental album, I kind of want to hear him just come off of bars, like off of it, just over some like crazy sample. Just loop for like two minutes, just like barred out. So. Um, a new sound I'm working on. Sheesh. Uh, let's see. I can play like a little, little rap, <laughs> little leak real quick. Let's see. It's photographs, I'm laughing, looking faded, and shaking the homie head. We accidentally made it, I'm racing to show the fam. My dad, he got a face that could break the holiest man. No plan, both of the pants. My mom showed me the love, my pain growing in tandem. I want to advance, the payment is slowly dancing. Taking this potion and smoking to face this damage. Able to focus emotions and wrote a handful. Oh, what a shame, you catered to what the cameras say. I feel the sand is fully in my hands today. I'm wearing hands, got more to finish and plan today. I put the plan in motion and made a ramp. Hey. Yeah. What I did. That's, that's some new, some new stuff I'm working on. I couldn't play the whole thing though. I had to keep it quiet. <laughs> uh, a beat for an anime show intro. Uh, I really like uh Samurai Shampoo, and I feel like if I did score an anime, it'd be something like that. But I think a beat like. Like chill, straightforward. <laughs> like the credits can roll. I don't know what it'd be about, but I feel like this could like work as like a, or an outro. I don't know. I feel like it could work either way. Yeah. The drums on that one are hard to me, and the piano is just real smooth. Uh, <laughs> in the studio with Earl or Red Bell. <laughs> uh, I was just in the studio with Red Bell recently, too. Um, let's see, I would play, uh, I feel like I would want to hear them on something like this. It's, very, it's a different kind of energy to it. It's like bouncy, you know? So like they can get their bars off on this. It's real straightforward too. Like it's real like it sounds real dark, but it's like you know you can say some some moments for it. Yeah, right, that one's hard. I like that one a lot. Um, a beat for Odd Future Oldie Part Two. That that would be dope. Um, I would want to hear them on something like. A little more up, like, upbeat, more energy to that one, but I feel like Tyler and Earl, all them would spaz on that. I feel like it would just sound, they would all just bring their bars for sure on that one. In the studio with No Name, Smino and Saba. I literally was just in the studio with Saba like last week. Let's 
which is crazy too. But I would give them, did I give them? I feel like they would do some dope stuff on this beat. I could also opt that one for the Kendrick Lamar experimental, but I thought like those would both work for that. Play something from your R&B bag. Let's see. I got this little Rihanna type beat that I think she would slide on. I feel like, personally, I think she would get on this beat. Got a little bounce to it. Her voice will cut through on that, like really sweet. So Rihanna, if you're watching this, I got a pack for you for sure. Uh, ghost producer, <laughs> ghost producer for Flying Lotus. Let me see if I actually could ghost produce for Flying Lotus. Let me see. Uh, that's like some electronic shit. Let me see. That could that beat I played just now could work. Or. I could try this one. Fly low Catra feel. I could I could see like Kendrick hopping on that or somebody like an R&B singer hopping on that. Your hardest beat with no drums. Ooh, hardest beat with no drums. I kind of already played it, but let me see. This is one. This is another one. Let me see. Um, this is really good, actually. Well, there's drums on this, but not my drums. <laughs> yeah. Crazy loop. That one sat for a while. A beat that people would be would be surprised you made. Um, this is actually pretty surprising to me, but it's a Detroit type beat. It's a little, little surprising, but I feel like it's still hard, you know? Play something that defines Overcast. 
Uh, this is actually a good beat. How much? How much? How much? How much? The cost of how much? How much? The cost of how much? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? Yeah, I feel like cost of the balance on that is like real signature. Um, and those drums, I like, I, I like played them as one shots, and then I like went in and programmed them. Play a beat with an international sample or sound. Mm, this one has an international. It's like some Brazilian, I think. type of sound. I might flip it again, but that's a good one. Um, how did the Drake placements come together? So that was Lil Yachty. Uh, I sent him a beat pack like two years ago, um, and it kind of sat for a little bit, but um, he ended up like getting it to Drake out of nowhere, like in the last November. Uh, I think he, he heard he was doing some rap shit, and like he just knew, and like, Gave it to him. Um, but shout out to Adi for that. <laughs> In the studio with Future and Young Thug. Honestly, I feel like if I was, I would still give them like some loop. Like, I would still want to. I would want to hear them over some like different sounding music. I think this might be. No, that's something else. Um, or honestly. I would do this one. This is like not really a loop, um, but it's kind of like, I want to hear him on this. I feel like Thug would just do a weird, a weird pocket on this. Future would also do a weird pocket. Um, yeah. Probably both fit weird in there and I would love to hear that for sure. <laughs> Your beat with the heaviest Dilla pocket. I played it before but I'll play it again. Cause it definitely like it. The drums are off rip. It's just Dilla just through and through. Yeah. Piano, with the, the, the laid back piano, like behind the beat. It's crazy because this sample actually has like two parts to it, like this ending part. I just filtered this part. In the studio with Prince and Anderson Park. Mm. That's interesting. Um, <clears throat> I'll say this one. I'll play it. I'll play it again. Play Anderson with a slide on this that raspy vocal and Prince would like have a high vocal it would be a good like balance shout out my 
homeboy Aaron for playing guitar on that. Um, but yeah, I think Anderson and Prince would. What's on the Overcast 2024 agenda? A lot of rapping, a lot of music videos, um, a lot of cool art, a lot of out of the box shit. I want to push myself this year. Um, and a lot more production on different shit, so what the Yo, that's all I got in my vault right now. Uh, more coming soon, but that's all I got now. Peace. It was cool. Easy.